mystifying and utterly mindless record-breaking attempts ever contained in a single hour of television. I got a groin pole watch in these clips. It, is it over? They let Manson out of jail for this? Expert advice from world-class athlete Tanya Harding. The only thing that goes up my nose is my finger every once in a while to put out a booger, all right? Ew! It's True TV presents World's Dumbest Record Breakers. And it starts right now. In Texas, Jeff Kimbrell hopes to set a world record by completing 500 skydives in a 24-hour period. Ready to go. Thanks, Pat. He's assembled a crack team of pilots and parachute packers to help him. Why would you want to do that? I don't know. Yeah, good enough. Let's shove him out of the plane. That, that, that's good. A little short, a little short, let's go. You just know that people on the ground, they weren't there to be like, oh, we're gonna see him land 500 jumps. They were like, we're there to see the one that he doesn't land. <laughs> At midday, Kimbrell sensibly takes a brief break from jumping. <laughs> now, if he really had dedication, he'd have scooped down while he was flying. Just drop the At the 24-hour mark, Kimbrell completes 390 jumps. A new world record, but well short of his 500-jump goal. You're off by 110. What happened? You think there's a problem with time management here? No one's got a calculator at the jump site. He made all his friends waste their time for his stupid pipe dream. Okay? I just lost a day of my life flying you around for 24 hours. You have made us all failures, sir. <laughs> In the 1950s, seeing how many people could cram into a phone booth became a popular fad. But the craze eventually went the way of the drive-in and the sock hop. Until half a century later when these Scottish schoolgirls attempt to break the record of 12 people in a phone booth. Okay, Chelsea, like, go get the this. Harry, <laughs> right, ask when we're lifting you, can you lift the ass up? It felt like the team leader was setting it up for like a really fun field trip. She's like, Mary Lou, get in there. Mary Kate, uh, Catherine. Hannah BD, Shelby. Everybody in, BD, you are closed. Those girls look like they're having a really good time in there. Especially the one that's crying. Yeah, crushed little Cindy. She's in there. Smash her head with the phone. You can get another girl in there. The bagpiper was there to drown out the screaming of the girls dying in the phone booth with no air. I don't know that this was such a good idea. I don't know whose toe that is, but that's not cool. Life, I know that's your hand, okay? Why they ask me to be in a phone booth? I could have helped count for five people. The 16 girls are delighted with their success until they learn that Guinness no longer accepts entries in the most people in a phone booth category. The big story here wasn't the 16 young ladies in the phone booth, it's the fact that they actually found a phone booth still in existence. Who uses a phone booth anymore? In the city of Bhubaneswar, Mohammed Zakir prepares to smash his way into India's record book. By smashing 200 coconuts with his elbow. Ready? Go! How do you know that?
that you've got a coconut cracking skill. <laughs> you're just walking by a bunch of coconuts one day and you're like, booyah! Ouch! 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 The guy's gonna have coconut elbow for the rest of his life. Get in, coconut elbow! Bang with your nut! Bang with your nut! Ouch! Ouch! <laughs> Oh, come on. Some of those coconuts don't even break. It's really more of like a coconut bumping record. <laughs> That's why there was a guy behind him just shoving him off the table. That's fine. That's okay. Close enough. <laughs> Zakir elbows all 200 coconuts in just over three minutes. It seemed like he did a, a decathlon or something. This hidden talent has now been exposed, and we all expect that this will be recorded in the Limca Book of Records. Which is a great first step. The uh, second step would be to get into a book of records that anyone cares about. Oh, snap! Coming up, a painful miscalculation. Plus, a holy man rolls into town. Can somebody tell him we now have cars, planes, and trains? And a frigid test of one man's will. If this guy wanted to see how long he could stay in ice, all he had to do was sleep with my ex-wife. When the world's dumbest record breakers continues. Jumpin' Joe Hendricks is a stuntman who performs for crowds across America. A few years ago, he set a world record by jumping his bicycle over seven cars. Today, he wants to add another record to his name by jumping over nine brave volunteers without a ramp. Who in their right mind would lay down on the ground and let somebody try to jump over them with a bike? Me, 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 I'll do it. How in the hell can this guy jump seven cars and then miss nine skinny people lying on the ground? Ramp, good. No ramp, bad. <gasps> Damn it! Ah. Ah. Ah, I'm all right, I'm all right, I'm all right. I like how they all run to the bike guy, too. How about the dude over there with tire marks on his nuts? He might need some attention. Despite the spill, everyone is fine. At the end, they're like, dude, I'm never lining up for that guy again. You can forget it. <gasps> Wow. 64-year-old Frenchman Maurice Dobard has a bad case of record-breaker fever. The only thing that can cool it? Being buried up to his neck in ice for a record-setting 60 minutes. Oh. Ah, was cold, no? They let Manson out of jail for this? Mm -hmm. If this guy wanted to see how long he could stay in ice, all he had to do was sleep with my ex-wife. A team of doctors monitors Maurice's vital signs. Doctors, we have a limited amount of time. Does it really take three doctors to find out when it's unhealthy for a 64-year-old to be in a tub of ice? Minute one, it's unhealthy. <sighs> You know, maybe this wasn't such a good idea. <sighs> With only four minutes remaining, Maurice's body temperature suddenly dips to a dangerously low level. Dr. Love says get him out the ice right now. Please hurry. Please hurry up, please. How about a shovel? Nobody thought to have a shovel? <sighs> Want to pick up the pace? My nuts are purple over here. Let's go! <gasps> uh, merci, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. 
This guy ain't got nothing on ice like I do. Try falling from four feet in the air, onto your butt, on the ice, every single day. The only thing is, is I look good when I got back up. In the heart of the English countryside, a new land speed record is about to be attempted. Event officials carefully mark off a distance of 100 meters. The precision vehicles used in the competition are meticulously calibrated to maximize performance. Finally, the record seekers approach the starting line. This is one of the toughest races you can ever get into. Because when it comes to shopping carts, it's always going to be one with a f***ed up wheel. You sit in the cart, I'll push, we'll go very fast. It'll be lovely. Come on! We're going to get him! <laughs> Damn, baby! You need to lose some weight! Faster! Faster, I say! Yeah! Oh, oh, oh! A new world record of 18 seconds is set by the team of Stephanie Clearwater and James Brown. James Brown, really? Wow! Get on down! Hardest working man in shopping trolleys. I think it's excellent. <laughs> the only thing I'm ever likely to get in the record books for, so I'm well chuffed. I'm sorry, you, you're what? I'm well chuffed. I'm sorry, I didn't get that. Did you say it again? I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed. I'm chuffed at the work I do on the smoking gun. It means embarrassed, right? I'm chuffed. I thought Stephanie was hot. I'm glad she's chuffed. Congrats, Steph. I'm well chuffed. <laughs> Indian holy man Ludkin Baba holds the record for rolling his body farther than anyone. A total of 20,000 miles. tell him we now have cars, planes, and trains. And now the rolling saint is adding miles to his record by rolling from India to Pakistan to lobby for peace. Okay, here I go. All the way to Pakistan. I'm sorry. This is this man's religion, and I am not making fun of it. Watch your toes, please. Excuse me. Damn, I'm dizzy as hell. No, 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 Todd Bridges. Don't go there. He had like a posse. People were like clapping and singing. Here's 300 people with one guy rolling down the middle of the one road in India. Dude, come on. We all have to get to work. After a journey of more than 1,500 miles, Ludkin Baba finally arrives at the Pakistani border, only to be turned away by the guards on duty. I told them I was rolling for peace. They said, okay, bye-bye. His peace mission foiled, this old man goes rolling home. Excuse me. He would be really good in one of those fire prevention commercials, Stop, Drop, and Roll. Hey, everyone. Lutkin Bob is here to help us with a fire safety tip. If you catch on fire, you stop, drop, and roll. Drop and roll. If you catch on fire, you stop, stop drop, drop, and roll. Good job. Coming up. Tastes like chicken. And smells like cobra. Bite him. Bite him, snake. Bite him right in his eye. Plus... I think the main reason that I don't walk downstairs on my hands is because I have feet and legs. When the world's dumbest record breakers continues. This is Mono, a hotel owner in Madras, India. Today, Mono is attempting to set a new world record by eating 200 worms in less than 30 seconds. Oh. Nasty. 
That's what I put on my fishing pole, okay, to catch fish. I'm not a fish. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. Don't eat me. <laughs> I don't see what the big deal is. Tastes like chicken. Having more than doubled the previous record, Mono celebrates with a little nose candy. Just when I thought we reached an all-time level of disgusting on this show, along comes Snake Boy. Bite him. Bite him, Snake. Bite him right in his eye. Every single cast member on this show has packed more stuff up their nose than that guy. What? <laughs> the only thing that goes up my nose is my finger every once in a while to put out a booger, all right? When we last saw renowned record breaker Ashrita Furman, he was attempting to balance 76 pint glasses on his chin. Today, he's at JFK Airport. Ashrita plans to push an unripe orange one mile in under 30 minutes using only his nose. Honey Mark, get set, go! I gotta be honest with you. The last time my nose hit that many balls, I just really needed the money. That's how you get, I don't know, tetanus, cholera, typhoid, diphtheria. You can have anything from anywhere. It's an airport, remember? The disease of many nations being trudged around. <laughs> he was like grunting. <gasps> and did that help you push the orange further by your grunting? <sighs> can you imagine someone like trying to get to their flight? Why is my flight delayed? Oh, this guy is uh, pushing an orange down a hallway with his nose. I think we're going to miss our flight. <laughs> Ashrita nudges his orange over the finish line with five minutes to spare, giving him the record. I've seen dogs, like, nudge balls and stuff down, but for a human to do it for a trick, weird. <sighs> Behold this luxury hotel in Moscow. The opulent historic building stands 32 stories high. Thank you, thank you. Today, former circus performer Nikolai Novikov will attempt to climb down each and every one of its 800 marble steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ah, uh, uh, I think the main reason that I don't walk downstairs on my hands is because I have feet and legs. Oh, balance, balance. Okay, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> Come on, how tough is it, people? Dude, are you kidding me? This is easy. Oh, okay. Give me the rack, yeah. Oh, nice. Oh. Does the guy have to be all sensual every time he wipes his brow? Oh, sweet, soothing rack. This is the worst training montage ever. Dude, you don't have a competitor. It's just you. You can take it easy. Help! Oh, okay. Oh, oh. You know, back when this guy was in the circus or did whatever he did, and he was a gymnast and he was great, and this is what you gotta do now, you know? <laughs> I should <laughs> talk with Bronson. <laughs> Novikov sets a new world record. 32 flights of stairs in about 40 minutes. It's an impressive accomplishment to some. Want to be a tough guy? Go up the stairs. Danny can do that. Danny, show him. Do you have anybody on this show that isn't a pussy? Very impressive, Danny. You can do a handstand. Uh, you know who else can do handstands? Uh, Five-year-old girls. A lot of 
fall out of my pockets now, you know. China's Ma Lianbo has spent three years in vigorous training with one goal in mind, to break the record for most consecutive spins. Lianbo hopes to shatter the current record of 12,980 rotations. How does he do that and not get dizzy? Shouldn't he be like in their astronaut program? When asked what his inspiration for this was, he said his main influences are dreidels and Stevie Nicks. Oh, I love it. And then he does the calligraphy. Pretty cocky for a guy spinning. Oh, we get it. You can multitask. He's like twirling around and writing messages like, please. They're making me twirl. Please, somebody help. Ma finally winds down after 20,044 rotations, beating the previous record by over 7,000 spins. He just competing against himself. He's like, dude, you the only one spinning. You got it. Don't worry. We not gonna do it. Coming up. Another one bites the dust. And he cheats and pulls it with his hands. I'm doing this for you, Papa. At the New Mexico Firefighter Competition, teams come from every corner of the state to test their skills. Fire trucks are for pussies, I guess. It's not enough to have the giant red truck with the flashing lights. They gotta have the Sunday, Sunday, Sunday firefighters. Today's main event involves assembling a set of hoses and knocking down a target in record time. It doesn't seem to be the most realistic because it's very rare that you see firefighters arriving at a scene in muscle cars. Don't firefighters have dangerous enough jobs as it is? Do they really need to do this to relax? What about just a board game? Boring! Oh, that's, that's how you get a chest rash. That's a chest rash. My shoulder! It's my shoulder! Yeah, we know. We saw you go face first at 80 miles an hour into the cement. The fireman sustained some nasty abrasions in the fall. Oh. And his dreams of setting a record go up in flames. What happens if there's a fire in that town? I now want emergency. Yeah, my, uh, my house is on fire. We're at the fair. The firemen are weird? At the fair. Doing what? They're racing cars. Oh, shit. I'm doomed. Yeah, we won. Oh, the city burned down while we were competing. Ah, drag. Oh, oh. At Thailand's Fun Museum, amateur athletes attempt to set a new world record. The athletes are competitive eaters, and what they're eating is ice cream. when this was going on. Cookies and cream, baby, that's all I need. <laughs> One. Competitors must down as much ice cream as they can in eight minutes and keep it down. That was one of the most disgusting things I've ever seen. It didn't help that the ice cream was, was vomit flavored. Competitors found that out the hard way. Ew. Ah, ah, ah. 
<laughs> I understand the ice cream eating record. What I don't understand are the transvestites that are in this thing. Ow! Mm. I think this would be the world's first cold tranny mess. Am I right, Kristen Cirano? Whatever, it's fierce. <laughs> <laughs> the way to get rid of a brain freeze is like this. A lot of people don't know that. <laughs> None of the amateurs come close to beating the current world record of eight pounds in eight minutes. But today's winner does swallow more than three pounds of ice cream, waddling off with a check for $550. <laughs> What a punk. Guy doesn't know how to eat. In Mexico City, a stuntman known to his adoring fans as Zovac hopes to win a spot in the record books. His father, the late Professor Zovac, made his name decades ago doing daring stunts on the silver screen. And today, Zovek Jr. embarks on his own bid for greatness by pulling a bus carrying 25 people with his teeth. Oh, God, here we go. We got to do this for Dad. He cheats and pulls it with his hands. Stop it. Put your hands down. I'm doing this for you, Papa. He's never going to be as good as his dad. He's, he's nobody. He's nothing. He sucks. That's why you're junior, Zove, okay? You see, Papa, for you, I do this. I do this for you, Papa. Zove Jr. just broke the world record for sexiest outfit. Oh, my goodness. I hope he's got some powder down there, because that's going to be some chafing. Look, I'm an athlete. I want to be taken seriously. I have skills. I've worked hard. Zovek Jr. successfully breaks the bus pulling record. You dad. Peace out, Pops. <gasps> Dios mio. Every summer, mini bike riders flock to New Hampshire for Flip Fest, an event dedicated to the art of aerial stunts. Today, Daredevil TJ Russell will attempt to break his own record. A record he set one year ago with this 70 foot backflip. This time, TJ is going for a 100-foot backflip. Another one bites the dust. Let's hope he has good dental. Go, go, go! Damn! Did he do his backflip? Yeah, yes he did, honey. He landed on his face. Like, who the f takes their kid to watch some guy get brain damage? Oh. Russell gets the wind knocked out of him, but is otherwise okay. The poor guy has to do the walk of shame. You're okay? Okay, you, you walk up there and wave. Dude, seriously, I, I can't feel my legs. No, you will go up that ramp and you will wave to that crowd. <laughs> the crowd cheers these people just as loudly when they fail as when they succeed. You should boo them when they fail. You're reinforcing failure. Yeah, way to go, baby. You almost killed yourself, but way to go. Coming up, more record-breaking in India. Those slumdog millionaire kids are talented. Plus, read a book. Get a hobby. You don't make your arm a human shish kebab. 
Ow! And later, strip poker lessons with Danny Bonaducci. So which of us wins? Don't believe me, babe. We both do. When the world's dumbest record breakers continues. At this children's camp outside New Delhi, youngsters compete for a mention in India's Limca Book of Records. Their challenge? To skate under 15 limbo bars just eight inches off the ground. Those slumdog millionaire kids are talented. I got a groin pole watch in these clips. After the first children clear the bars, the camp's organizers up the ante. Okay, light the fire. It's funny, these kids also broke the record for having the worst parents ever. Ready or not, here I go. and I'll make it. Ooh, maybe I'll get to America and be in a movie. Did anyone notice the kid wearing the Enron T-shirt? Yeah, 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 yeah. The company's gone, but the T-shirt lives on. I got my lucky Enron shirt. What could happen? The Limca Book of World Records is destroying India. We set the world record for children on fire! Yay! <laughs> Cape Town, South Africa. Andre Von Zale is a man with a mission. In a series of bids to raise AIDS awareness, he has swum with dolphins for five days. Yay! Pumped gas around the clock for six weeks. <sighs> And now, his latest stunt takes him to this video store, where he will attempt to set a new world record for consecutive hours of disco dancing. Baby, I'm all right. Oh, South Africa's Dancing with the Stars is really lackluster. In order to enter the record books, Andre must dance more than 338 hours straight. It's a record he himself set nearly two decades ago. I just love how he chose to break this record in a video store of all places. Do you guys have, do you guys have Goonies here? Do you have go Is this a dancing place? Why is that guy dancing near the tapes? Should I leave? Did you notice he wasn't really dancing? I could set a record if all I had to do was this for two weeks too. If that's considered dancing, then hell, you know, he can have the record. I couldn't tell if he was dancing or he just really had to pee. In the heart of O.P. Gulch, or P.I. Ooh, a little bit longer. It's a boring party. It's in a video store. Look at the chicks. They tired. Andre's tired. Oh, not the Macarena. Fonzale finally gives his feet a rest after 354 hours of swaying and gyrating. Having just broken his own world record, he can now set his sights on new challenges, like learning to dance. The only record set here was the most consecutive hours of horrible dancing. He sucked! Ugh, I'm out of here. An unusually heavy snowfall in London attracts hundreds to a local park. Yeah, it's snowing in England! Revelry soon gives way to record setting as they attempt to build the world's largest snowball. Let's make a snowball and roll it around. Be beautiful. <laughs> but before long, the 500 pound ball of snow and ice becomes a trifle unwieldy. Jumps on it like, yeah! Awesome. Bam! Damn. 
Deadly Bird. Look at me, everyone! <laughs> Send somebody you don't like down at the bottom of the hill. And don't let them know that you're going to roll the snowball. And then just kind of, boom, you go, ha, ha, ha. When the runaway snowball finally comes to a rest, it's a tad too small for the record books. The locals say they hope to get more snow sometime in the next 20 years, so they can try again. It's a good thing that French dude who sits in ice cubes never saw this. Oh, he'd never get out of that. <laughs> Life is a frozen ball that never ceases to roll. 19-year-old Sean Seaver is determined to get his name in the record books. And to do so, he's willing to do just about anything. Nice and shiny. Uh, oh, no, no, no. It, is it over? Nice big deep, deep breath, let it out. He's attempting to set the record for most body piercings in a single day. Can you imagine being this guy's parents? He could be an astronaut. He could be president of the United States. He could have the most body piercings of anybody ever in the history of the world. That's what I want. Ow. I cried when I had my earrings put in. All right, so, you know, and that was a long time ago, and I was like, ah! I've just been sitting there, I got on the couch, like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. We're going to be famous. Oh, we're going to be famous! No, you're not. No one gives a okay? I just got bored one day. Just wanted to see if I can do it. If you're bored, read a book. Get a hobby. You don't make your arm a human shish kebab. You'd be surprised how much determination and courage a lot of the 18, 19-year-old kids have nowadays. How about Skippy the Piercer with duct tape for ears? Yeah, that's exactly who I want piercing my skin. Uh. Yeah, the uh, upper back was not as bad. Once we got to the lower back, it started to hurt more. Can you imagine the security people at the airport? Excuse me, sir. You have some jewelry? In total, Sean sits for a record-setting 301 piercings, uh. followed by 301 tetanus shots. I got a staph infection on my torso. Oh, and I can't sit in chairs. I forgot about that. So now I got to sit around like this the whole time. I'm asleep on my back. I'm exhausted. But I'm different. You've watched 19 idiots vie for the record books. Don't give up now when you're so close to setting a new record for enduring stupidity. Ow. The number one world's dumbest record breaker is still out there. Find out who it is right after this. Two hundred poker players from around the world gather at this London casino to play in a poker tournament that is the largest of its kind on record. Ooh, strip poker. Show mama the good. The boys are out. The boys are out. You like that? Yeah! Ew! All right! I thought you said there were going to be chicks here. It's like a wiener roast. I would personally like to thank the producers of True TV uh, for bringing us this clip. No, Brad, I'm not taking my clothes off. I'm not, dude, sorry. Each participant is allowed to wear only five articles of clothing. Okay, enough, enough, enough. <laughs> Hope no one sees my naughty bits. Here we go. You entered a strip poker tournament. You can give up the shy thing now. We know you're not shy. I'm gonna take off my wig if I lose. <laughs> you ain't taking off my top. The winner takes home a prize of $14,000 and a gift certificate for laser hair removal. Probably the hairiest poker player to get in the Guinness World Record as well. Like you had to say that, we're looking at you, you will the beast. Yeah, we know this, you're very hairy. Inspired by this record, 
Danny Bonaducci held a strip poker tournament of his own. How many aces are there in a deck? So I'm stuck with four of them. Ooh, that's, that's not good. I, on the other hand, have a pair of fives. Read them and weep, baby. I got a pair of threes. Oh, well, that's a good pair. All you have is a king high straight. I, on the other hand, have a pair of twos. So which of us wins? Don't believe me, babe. We both do. Ah! 